All right, today we're going to be doing a GSAT kind of a hero experience again. I don't know why I'm obsessed with this, but I think you guys know by now that I'm kind of obsessed. And it seems like you guys love them so much because you watch them more than anything. <laughs> and of course, this is again built with GSAT. It's again experimental. I am playing around with things here, but I think as smooth as butter. So we're going to be building this and we are going to be deploying it to Elementor hosting. So let's get into it. All right. So I'm going to go to my website that I already have set here on Elementor hosting and I'm going to go to open my WP dashboard. So let's see what we are getting here. Let's go to plugins. And as you can see, I have Elementor and Elementor Pro and Lightspeed Cache. So I'm going to update all this and I'll come back. All right. So now everything is updated and we can start working on the website. All right. So I'm going to go to pages and I'm going to create a new page. I think that's needed. All right. So I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to call it home. Okay. Publish. And let's add it with Elementor, obviously. All right, so this structure is a little bit complex, I would say. Let me just change the color. Let's, let me just first hide the title and change the color of the background um, because I, this white bothers me a little bit. All right, so this is better. Okay, so I'm going to update and let's publish and let's see uh, the structure. Okay, so first up, we have a container, which is the parent container. Okay. And this is going to be full width and 100 VH. Specialist is a hero section. This is how it should be. Okay. I'm going to remove all the margins and paddings, publish. And I'm going to actually name this container, but you can name it something a little bit less obvious than container. But I uh, will leave it like this for now. And in this container, I'm going to be adding another container. And this container will also be a full width container and uh, the size doesn't matter in this case. And this is going to be our counter. So I'm going to name it counter. Okay. And I like to publish or make sure that I save my changes uh, every single time I make an important change because sometimes uh, Elementor is funny like that. Okay, so I'm going to be adding a heading inside this counter uh, container. So heading is going to be zero. So we are starting the count from zero, obviously, right? And we are going to change the HTML tag from an H2 to a P. And again, publish. All right, so in the parent container, I am going to be adding another container and this container will be again full width, no height, it doesn't matter, removing all this and I'm going to call this a hero, publish again and in this hero container we're gonna have another three containers. So this is one container and this container is a simple div basically, uh, we're not going to, to do anything about this. We're just going to leave it the way it is. We're going to handle this uh, with CSS and I'm going to set the class to be overlay. And in uh, the, in this container, in the container, the main container, basically, I'm going to add another container. As I said, this will be the header. I mean, we're going to call it header. Bring up all those and in in this container, we're going to have a heading and this heading will hold the name of whatever you want on the page. So I'm going to call it Studio Egly because I'm playing around. And as you know, I've been building my website for ages and I'm still trying to figure out how and what I want to go with. So this is something that I'm playing around with. So yes, this HTML tag is going to be an H1 because it's the main heading on the page and that's how we want it, right? And let's add another container in here and this container will have no margin and padding, <laughs> first of all, and we are going to give this a class name as well. 
and we are going to be adding an image inside here and let me see if i have any images i don't have any images on this website but let's say we are gonna go with this image it's very random don't ask why <laughs> but it's it's just there okay i'm gonna change it to medium it doesn't matter at this point that's it okay and i have no other settings on this image absolutely zero that's it nothing else and i will just add my html widget in here and i am going to add a lot of code a lot of code in the sense that there's a lot of css a lot of this CSS could be added most likely natively. I'm not going to go through that. I'm just going to make it sort of easy for you. And if you want to go over the code in CSS and just switch from the CSS that is kind of redundant because there's an option to do it natively in Elementor, you can do that. I will most likely have a template built out of this at some point in the future. Uh, so I will have the native Elementor functionality switched more than CSS. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, so, all right. So I'm going to drop my CSS, my code in here. Now you don't see anything because it's all JavaScript. So, yeah. Anyway, this is a lot of code. So our CSS starts here. Yeah. And as you can see, it's it's a lot, but it's also not necessarily a lot. So I'm going to publish this and let's see if anything happens, right? Not bad, right? Let's edit a little bit the, the text, make it nicer. And unfortunately, I don't have on this website the font that I was uh, using in the sample, but we could just choose something from here. Oh, actually I have some samples here. Okay, I'm going to go with this one because it's kind of nice. So let's say 1.5. I can't see it in preview, unfortunately. We can only have a look on the... I wanted to say in the backend yeah this is this needs to be bigger <laughs> let's see five yeah and you can customize this as well so yeah definitely uh changes need to be made here line height line letter spacing but the problem is that i'm flying blind here i can't see exactly what i'm changing and how I'm changing it but if you want to do changes basically I would recommend that you first style everything and then add your code for GSAP let's see this again yeah anyway I think it's okay I think it's an interesting intro you can also add a bigger image make it more interesting i don't know add different elements to the page give them the classes that you want them to have and you can go in the code there's there are many options here where you can change uh, for example let's say the hero image we could change the size uh the 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 height of the image but the height on the page so let's say somewhere around 40 that should put the image a little bit lower on the page. As you can see, the image is a bit lower, it's um, somewhat cut. And you can also play around with all these values around here and see how you can uh, make it your own, you know. So let's see what we change now. This should be something, yes. So the image has a more of a zoomed in view. Yeah, so you can go over all this and see what is what. I think it's quite interesting. I've been playing around with ChatGPT on this and yeah, we can come up with more interesting ideas. But this is something that I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, as you can see, 
wham bam thank you ma'am you can launch something super quick on elemental hosting and yeah no problem if you'd like to see what else you can build with elemental watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye